Hey y'all, Tammy here with Happy Art Creations. Welcome to my beautiful art room. Anyhow, uh, I'm doing an experiment. So I'm going to let you know that right now, I've already set this up, you know, I've been doing these little blooms and things like that. And when I put my flowers on and stuff, the paint underneath is wet. So what I'm going to do this time is, I've already go ahead, you've seen me before where I've layered the paints and then I had my black as a swipe and then I bring it down and swipe it. Well today, or this time, I'm going to let this all dry and then I'm going to come back and do the blooms. So this is just a simple little, um, I think it's 9 by 12, um, eh, a little over 8 and 12. So about uh, 8 by 12, kind of, sort of. Alrighty. So anyhow, I'm going to let this go, and I'll be back with you when it's dry. And then we'll start, we'll experiment and see if the flowers go on uh, nice and cool. See if they don't bleed out as much. Okay? I think this is a beautiful background. Here, let me bring that in to you. I wish you could see. So this is what it is wet. Isn't that pretty? So um, I'm really liking this. So we're going to try. I'm having fun with all these flowers. Okay, I'll see you next time. All right, toodaloo. Hey, y'all. Tammy here back with Happy Art Creations. You know, I was working on this before. I was going to, the first time I did it, I did a, um, let me get it. Just a real quick one. Just a quick peek. Kind of working on something like that. Remember that one? Oh, it turned out so beautiful. I am going to resin this um, pretty soon. And um, anyhow, but the paint was real wet on the canvas. And so what I did this time, I thought, I wonder if it makes a difference. I wonder if it makes a difference. And it probably does. But um, if the paint, the undercoat was dry. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I did go through the process of already um, removing the silicone. I used my cornstarch method. I do have a video for that so go ahead and check that out. I can't tell you what number it is. You would think since I haven't made that many I'd know but I know. So um, anyhow so I'm going to do, I, I've seen this before and I've actually done it before a long time ago where I take you take um, just q-tips and you stick them together and um, anyhow, see, I was kind of practicing on my silicone over here. And it turned out a cute little flower. Now, because this is just a simple, I think, 8 by 12 or something like that. Um, anyhow, um, this size is good. So I've got quite a few. I've got some more over here and more rubber bands. And I've got all my paints, just a myriad of colors. i got yellow, orange, carmine, red. Um, let's see. Quidacridone magenta and some pretty rose pink. I've got phalo blue and cobalt iridescent blue. I'm going to use pearl white. There's some Naples yellow. Don't know if I'm going to use that. And of course, some bling. Here is my, and I have some others. I mean, I got them all kinds of stuff behind me, but I'm kind of wanting to do um, some extra, extra colors. Um, as I do it, I'll kind of lift it up and let you see it. This glare above my window, um, above my table here. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit because I'm basically just going to be working in this little area right here. Maybe here and there, but not really. So all I did was, you see me here, I just poured a blob of paint right there. And in doing so, I kind of dab it off. And it turned out to be really cute. Can you see that? <laughs> just a little bitty flower and I thought well okay um, because I want to start it so maybe I'll start with my first little blob I don't know what else make sure that you had pain I know that's that sounds crazy now just because it seems a little empty it won't be because I'm gonna fill it in with highlight colors but of course I have to do one step at a time kinda let it dry a little bit before I do anything so um, I'm just going to go around and do that and continue all around. I hope everybody had a great weekend. We did. It was busy sometimes and then other times just leisure, which was, you know, leisure. You don't think too much about leisure. I'm telling you, I, leisure's necessary sometimes. And anyhow, we just kind of hung out, did some yard work, had the grandsons over, Oh, Lord, have mercy, are they energy balls, but I totally enjoy them. 
Isn't that cute? I mean, look at it so far. And I feel like I have more control when doing this, and I wanted to have specifics. So, um, you know, you could do all kinds of things with simple little things you have around the house. And to me, this is about as simple as it goes. Now, I am going to make these um, a little bit brighter with, you know, more colors. This is my outline. So, um, and this side I'm going to use for the orange after this dry. So this is my first kind of, let's see, that's six. You know, I like to do, um, uh, what's it call it, numbers, odd numbers. So let me just kind of stick this over here. And sometimes you think, well, why didn't I do it over here? Well, I want to add some other contrast things over there. So, um, again, this is my base coat. So this is going to take a little while, you know, and it's okay. Um, this is very, very relaxing. I don't know about you, but it is. And you can see that some of it kind of gets lost. So there will be additions of color, and I think that layering of color is going to be super cool. All right. Um, probably going to use the yellow and the orange in that little area. And I've got my phthalo blue. Hey, I learned this little trick by, um, oh, what's her name? Oh, it'll come to me. Hang on. Where she uses the erasers on her deal, on her lids. Um, Christine Welch. Christina Welch. And, um, anyhow, uh, I think it's a cool idea. I'm not going to put my light blue down yet because all of this has to dry. Okay, and then I'll probably use some pearl white. And I'm going to try another technique. And I can show you on the side kind of. Remember where I did kind of like little blue bonnets or whatever? Let me move this over. And literally, I think I'm going to try because blue bonnets are kind of like, you know, they kind of look at that. You see what I'm talking about? Y'all. I wish I'll, I'll, I'll bring you in. I mean, that is just like, yum. That's gorgeous. And then highlight that with some maybe a different shade of blue and maybe and definitely some white in there. But you see, and I'm going to put that in there. And I won't do it so big because, um, let me bring you in for my little step runway. See the little sample right there? I mean, it's really pretty. And I'm going to layer upon layer upon layer. Um, someone wanted me to take a little bit more time in what I was doing and not be so fast, but, you know, sometimes um, I talk fast. And sometimes it really doesn't matter, so, you know, I just do my thing. Generally, if it gets done fast, just because I did it fast and it's just the way it happened, there's no rush because I'm not on a time schedule. So, I think I'm going to start up in here. It's hard to see, so those highlight colors are going to really play a beautiful accent and see you see the difference in my colors um, or the size of course I'm not going to make one on this little tiny canvas this is actually a wood panel board um, these are super great for um, resining oh my gosh they turn out gorgeous um, super flat super easy to move around um, I'll bring that up a little bit. But see, that's just the base. And when I highlight that all in, it's going to be super pretty. So I'm going to do some here. And actually, this almost looks more like a lupine instead of, um, and I think they're in the same family, instead of a blue bonnet. Lupines are a little bit taller, fuller, and um, blue bonnets are closer to the ground, honestly. So... You know, I think I'm loving this technique for these flowers because it's going to bring so much definition. And it may take me to come back in here and do some more color, deepening color on the bottom. Because you want your base to be really nice. Um, and yeah, it has to dry. It has to dry in between because if you don't, it may model or muddy and not in a good way. So maybe, how about, I know I'm going to have a, mm -hmm, let's try it one up in here. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to try to do some simple, um, you know, long, I know, 
my brain is, is skipping sometimes. You know what I mean? My husband says my city's skipping again. Some long uh, leaves and stems and stuff like that in there. So that's that. The next one I want to do, and I'm going to keep this one for my blues. Okay, and I'm going to keep this one for my reds and my yellows. And so let me show you how I make another one, because my next ones are going to be in the pink family. You know, I don't really count. I just think what might look good, and I try to make it, you know, kind of gather it together. It's actually easier to arrange it after you put the rubber band. So I just put the rubber band until it feels pretty tight. Um, it's still maneuverable, and I can adjust, and like that. Just adjust. Oh, that's not quite... What did I do there? Oh, there we go. Nothing hard here. And you just kind of move it around till you find the place. And see, it's you can make it absolutely level and stuff, but I, I kind of like the bumps and the unevenness because, I mean, flowers, God made them pretty perfect, but they're still, you know. So this Quidacridone Magenta. Boy, when I first saw that word, I didn't know how to say it. Uh, when I was new to the art world, well, new to paint names, let's put it that way. Anyhow, and so I thought I might do a few um, in here. I'm going to do some smaller ones in here. So let me put down this again as my base. It doesn't take a whole lot of paint. It doesn't take a whole lot of paint. And... Um, so I'm loading it, basically. You do have to get a good load to it, I think. Um, there we go. This one's a little different. Um, I have out in my yard now some... Uh, oh, my friend from Idaho. We, used to, we were stationed there on the base. Um, she sent me some something called a rocket plant and some larkspur. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. And their petals, they're actually purple and a pretty white. Um, but anyhow, they're very, very pretty, and they're very, like, long, and then have these beautiful blooms that just kind of teeny ones. They're just so pretty, but they're real tall, perfect, and they're perennial. And, um, man, I love that pink next to all of this. This is so pretty, so I'm going to put one in here. And this is kind of a lupine, too. This really isn't um, the other. I could probably do one. I might look into that. I may have to mess with it though. Probably don't need as many cotton swabs for that one because the petals are only like, you know, four. And they're shades of purples. And it's really super nice. Um, it's going to be so pretty. And, you know, give your base a little bit more width when you do that because, on you know, a lot of lupine, the first blooms start here and then they go up. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to do, should I do one more? Maybe. Maybe a small one right in there. And you can see these are different. These are different. And when these dry, there, just kind of make one kind of go up a little. All right, let me put this up for you to see. Can you see that so far? Look how bright and vibrant. And the colors aren't getting lost underneath your painting. So I thought it was really cool um, to let it dry. Okay, so um, let's see. I might. Here's some yellow. I think yellow should be in every... Um, I think I'm going to make another one. But I'm going to make a small one. I think I'm just going to do three. And these are about the smallest rubber bands I could find. But it doesn't matter. And when you're done with these brushes, you don't have to worry about washing them. Woo! I don't know about you, but sometimes maintenancing stuff. Yep. So, I got my yellow over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive in. Oh, that's going to make a cute... You make little, tiny little buttercups down here. Let me see, can y'all see that okay? And again. Because I'm gonna, I mean, you're gonna need to definitely go back over stuff. And this one, I'm gonna take the, 
the little stems that come up and I'm going to go around and kind of paint those in. You know what I mean? Where they come up and the little stems go like that and the little flowers attach. So it looks like I'm doing kind of random and I am. Um, I'm kind of bringing that down like that. I'm not going to do too many colors actually on this because it's not far from being done. All right, that's pretty so far. And then when I'm done to where I need to stop and do some more, I'll come back and let you see it. But it needs to dry in between. So we're not going to rush this because I want it to be pretty. Um, just so you know, all of my art is for sale. Okay? So if any one of you are interested in anything I do here, um, just let me know if it's in the drying process. Um, let me know that you're interested and I'll show you when it's um, dry and then I can coat it. Most these Probably these boards here are always going to be um, resin. They're just great resining boards. But um, I have other lots of other paintings. And so anyhow, uh, do I want anything else? I feel like something else needs to be right here. What would be... Hmm... But not too much, I, you know. Hmm. You know the little coral bells? I'm going to try my metallic white. It's my white pearl. Um, I'll just use the... Because coral bells have these beautiful thick leaves. And then they come down and they kind of just drape. That's kind of what I'm going to do. So it's kind of hard to see. Oh, that one there's got a little fluff. Let me just trim it off. How many of y'all have scissors that are just like awful? My scissors look awful. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to do a few. And they kind of go in a line. You know what I mean? See? I have some by my front door. And um, we moved into a house that... Um, a gardener. Oh my gosh. She just, she was an older woman. Um, anyhow, had some beautiful, so I've got peonies and I've got all kinds of stuff in my yard. Beautiful irises that um, they plant. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Rose bushes all over the place, all throughout the yard. We have about an acre and a half. And um, anyhow, it just it turned out they're so pretty. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So I don't want to do too many there because the leaves are going to make this be what it is. So but you can intermingle flowers too. And I think even a touch of this um, pearl would be pretty with the yellow, just a little dot here and there. But as you can see, my blue is basically fading. So it's definitely going to need to um, have more on it, and I'll do that. They're starting to dry. Some of the blue's done, but the red is definitely not. So I'm going to pause right now, and um, I'll get back with you uh, when this is dry, and we'll start the next step. Okay? Bye-bye. Hey, y'all. Tammy back, and... Um, just did a few other little things and I did put a few other coats on and in doing so it brings a nice little texture so as we layer this texturing is going to be really neat um, definitely put more blue on as it was drying it was just fading into that black background so I didn't like that put some more red I actually did a few more things um, did a little bit of purples in here um, while I was waiting. So I really didn't do too much more. Um, so now we're going to start, even though it's a little damp in places, I think that's going to be okay. It's not wet. So we're going to try um, some highlighting, let's say, of the, let's start with the orange. I want to put a little bit of orange in this area. And let me move my little bottles out of the way. Um, this has been sitting, but I bet it's just fine. There we go. Oh, shoot. That was my red side. Oh well, I'm fixing to dip it anyhow. Life goes on. I just wanted some highlight. And so let's just start. Mm, how about right in the first one we did? Oh, that kind of just brings a pop right there in the middle. And I think I'll put a little yellow in the middle of the orange. Um, I may go back and... Um, Add some more red. 
some of these are still fading but I can still do that and highlight but let me give you a close-up on that one little see it really did make it pop didn't it it did it's pretty all right so let us see um, I'm gonna add some cobalt blue make sure I get the right side this time in these little flowers here and then I'm gonna add afterwards I'll add some of this uh, pretty white um, let's see what we can do with this this one is shaped a little different so hopefully because of the way the uh, q-tips are on so I'm just gonna kind of pop here and there um, it's already making it come up a little bit so um, it'll bring definition definitely to this and I don't want to do too much um, and remember I'm putting white so even though um, it's hard to see the blue it'll all join in together and when it's resin the resin will um, I have to kind of the resin oh sugar 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 look what I did you goofball okay oh well I don't lose sleep over stuff like this <laughs> it is not worth losing sleep so um, when I put that white in it's gonna be so pretty it's definitely gonna add um, there <laughs> All right, here is, this is a lighter pink, kind of, I don't know, cotton candy, candy, I don't know, it looks like Pepto-Bismol, really. Okay, so I'm going to put that in this, and again, the layers are just going to be pretty layers, okay, just trying to kind of get my, my little doodad paintbrush here kind of loaded up real good especially since it's not been used already it's looking beautiful I did a picture a long time ago I don't even know where it's at um, might be in a box uh, of hydrangeas oh that's a big blob here let me unblob that there let's see if I can unblob it I'll have to come back and put some darker pink on that blob um, and that happens, but this is very forgiving. I mean, you can figure, you can see how it's already looking better. Um, there, a lighter touch, maybe. All right, what should I do next? I might do some Naples right in here. Um, you know the, I know there are a lot of times the, is it the, um, I'm going to call it, no, it's probably wrong name, but Alyssum or something like that. It's in the onion family and they have really pretty um, flowers in them that come up. When we lived in Alaska, um, man, they were tall. Some of them were, oh my gosh, in the spring, some of them were just as tall, almost as tall as I am. I mean, they were absolutely gorgeous so um, well, let's get that loaded up oh that'll be a nice little soft highlight but they were purple but I have seen blooms such as this and think about coloring you layer your colors in okay um, oh yeah look at that oh, that's a little bit light but I can go back in with some of this yellow I might get a more um, deep yellow this yellow right here I think it's maybe just too light so already that's prettier that looks prettier as it is and so yeah hot tickety I'm liking that I'm liking it okay um, I might just dab a little dab do ya. Anybody as old as I am? Where they, they did dippity doo da, dippity doo. We're just gonna highlight. See? I'll bring that up in just a sec. Just highlighting. Not doing a whole lot on those. And again, that resin's just gonna make it so pretty. I can't wait to get the resin on it. It's gonna dry real well. But there's no silicone on it. Silicon. Silicone whichever it is, um, on it anymore. 
I did remove it, and there's no silicone in these paints here. I prefer not to do silicone if I can help it, just because of the extra labor. I still like the results of silicone, because it does bring a neat result. Already, it looks like these are a little sun-kissed, and of course a lot of these little plants um, do have white in them like this, so I'm cool. And, oops. And when I'm done, I'm going to come back and put some white highlights. I may have to come back in. I may even get some darker blue, maybe some Prussian blue, something a little bit deeper, and see if I can't get that to bring up a little bit. Um, hmm. Should I do a little bit of this yellow with the white? We'll just try one. Maybe. Let's see. Maybe I'll do a live show one day and y'all can tell me, do this next. Try this. <laughs> um realized that, that my cobalt blue, this one over here, this pretty blue that I'm messing with, is iridescent. I did put some iridescent in that one. It's on the bottle and I went, oh, okay. So, again, I still may go in and put this white in right now while it's a little wet. Just dab it and see, oh, that's better. That might do the job. Kind of opens it up, doesn't it? And there's no rush. I'm totally enjoying this. While it was drying, I had piddled around the house and fiddle farted and played with the puppies, throwing the ball. Oh my gosh, she can never get enough of that ball. We finally found a ball they can't kill. We have some of those others, um, other balls that you get for 96 cents at Walmart. They last it maybe two minutes. I'm not kidding. Two minutes. All right, let me bring this up. It's going to be in another drying phase. It's looking very pretty, pretty. Can you see it? Oh, look at it. It is, look, it's coming together. But it's one of those things that it's just going to take time, and it's very pretty. And man, with that resin, got some purple. Um, with that resin, it is just going to be gorgeous. So I'm excited to have some of that off. I'm learning. Watch for my blobs. Okay, that's good for now. We're going to let it rest dry, and I'll come back and do a little bit more, and we'll just do it step by step. This is going to take a little time, so I can't just let it keep running. So I'll be back in just a moment, which may be a few minutes from now. All right, toodles. Hey, y'all, I'm back and playing around still. Um, maybe we can try doing the next layer. I did found some, find some uh, uh, medium kind of toned. It's, I think, um, Harvest Yellow. I think it's Christina Welch's brand. I believe that's what it is. And I added some iridescent to it. So I'm going to try to warm some of this yellow up over here. I also brought in some berry metallic. I might play with that. Um, I've got some dark violet. Um and uh, oops homemade and this is Prussian blue so I'm going to try to use some of these oh where's my little thingy there it is I dropped my lid okay and I also got what else did I do oh I was eating okay. there we go anyhow we will see. Oh, and my gold, my 24 karat gold, I might try to add that in. So I'm going to try this yellow because it's definitely, if you put it up against this one, see the difference in the warmth. So um, I'm going to try it. Let's see how. Maybe maybe more in the middle and work out. Oh, that's, that's it. That's what it needed. It just needed to be warmed up. And look at that. And leave the yellow more lighter yellow on the outside. See that? I'll bring that up for you to see. Um, maybe just highlight these little guys down here just a little. Just highlight them. Not doing a whole lot, okay? I just want to highlight. Yeah, these definitely have iridescent. And let me bring that up because it's so pretty. And it definitely made a difference. Can you see the yellow? Look how pretty. And it just added enough difference. My light is awful. 
All right, so <clears throat> enough with that. I wanted to try to do something with the purple flowers also. Um, so I've got, it's almost like a dioxazine. I made a dark violet and added blob of black and say it's very, very dark. And this has iridescent in it also. I thought, what the heck, why not, right? I'm just gonna use my little purple dauber that I had before. Try not to get too much yellow on me from the other one. Let's see. I just want to add a touch. See? Just a just a little touch here and there. Not a whole lot. Just to give it some a highlight. And I'm hoping to do the same with that. I've got a Prussian Blue. Prussian Blue um, definitely dries darker. I probably poured out too much this purple. Oh, I hate when I do that. Oops, don't like the way that one looks. So take my finger. There you go. Get some of that blob. Right? Really just wanted little dots and I'm kind of going crazy. All right. There we go. That just gives a little bit of something. Anyhow, this is very pretty. I'll show you these when I bring it up, when I finish. It's just enough to highlight it, not a whole lot. And I gotta remember to speak up a little bit. I know that when I'm down here, I start talking softer, but I don't know why I do that, but I do. Okay. Oh, this definitely does help. All of these little highlight things, each step that we're doing just makes it prettier. And I'm kind of blob it, uh, blotting some of these darker ones that were just kind of blobs. All right, so definitely I have too much paint. And I'm going to see if I can't scoop that back up into the bottle because I am not wasting perfectly good paint on that. Where are you, little guy? I have a little... Is this it? No, this this will work. What the heck, right? I don't think I'm going to use much more of that purple, so I'm going to gather it up. Um, definitely don't believe in wasting. See? I'm just putting it back in. I did nothing to it. There was nothing underneath it, so it's not there. Ta-da! Get myself a little paper towel here. I had a little snack while I was waiting. I had grapefruit. I love grapefruit. It is like most yummy. All right, this here is a little bit darker blue, and I'm just going to add, hopefully, just a dot. See the difference? I think it's going to add some depth, and we'll see what I can do on this. And I think I'm just going to get a simple, just, just one, and kind of just work with it. There, see? When it, and when it dries, it will be darker. So I'm trying to bring in some more richness of color in between all of this, okay? One thing about, there's an art form called, I believe it's called point, pointillism, where they use just dots and make, I think was Monet one of those that did that? And they did dots of color, and in from up front it didn't quite look like the whole, but you step back and there was such a beautiful, I think it was him, Monet has some beautiful art. He is one of my favorites. Not that I know very many famous artists, I don't know him. You know, but um, <laughs> I definitely like his style. Yeah, I like his style. And then I'm going to go back and um, where is my white? Did I mess it up? Probably did. Well, I kind of just, I don't know if I like that. So we're going to stop. I could also do that, a little bit of just kind of blending with my finger. I think I like that better. That, that's what I want. There we go. I think I put my arm in something. All right, I think I will put more white on in a little bit, but maybe just plain white and not the iridescent. I don't know. So I've yet to mess with this. I did go back and, um, and I brought out Oh, where'd it go? thought I got the Christmas... Oh, no. I'm going to try this. If I can get it open. Oh, usually when they're hard to pull open, they make a mess. Let's see. If not, I'll go back. 
that might be too that might be too pink I may add that in there so let's see let me just pull out one of these see what I did there I just pulled it out that way I didn't waste it I think that yeah and this is Alizarian, I believe that's how you say it, Crimson Berry Metallic. It's a mixture I come up with and then I add little little stuff to it. Oh yeah, this definitely is helpful. It brings some more depth, which is what I wanted. And i got to move this guy because I keep whacking my arm on it. So there's all kinds of layers. All pretty kind of layers in this. And I like it. Can't wait for you to see it up close, and I'll just come back and kind of blot with my finger just a hair, just so it's not so in your face. What's nice about this, um, it's actually a puppy thing that they kind of outgrew. Their stuff's gotten bigger, um, it, but it's silicone. I can take it and clean it off easily. and. Um, Oh yeah, that's much pretty. And I uh, definitely didn't like this blob that I did there. I don't know how that happened, right? <laughs> All right. Kind of let it. Yeah, I like that better. It's kind of the same thing as doing what my finger was doing. And kind of fill this out a little bit. Okay. Hmm. So, where's that purple? Did I have a purple? I did. Where'd it go? Right. Oh. I'll take this one out. I'm not worried that it, and I think I'm going to daub that too in that little bit that's left. just watched a video. Oh, what is her name? Downshiftology. That's the thing on YouTube. Anyhow, she says great healthy recipes. And I like that stuff anyhow. So it's a good thing that I like healthy food, you know, because they are really my favorites. It's just all that other junk and then lack of ac exercise and activity after I had my surgery. Total knee replacement. Yeah. That was a really hard heal. It took me a year and a half. I still can't do certain things. Um, very long time. Woo, it needed to be done, but boy, this was probably the hardest thing I've gone through. I'd rather have had babies. <laughs> no kidding. I'm not just, just saying that. I'm just saying I'd rather have babies. Mm. And I think I'm going to take a little bit of this orange just a little. Maybe mix it. Let's mix some of that with some of this. Let's see what we get. A little muted. There we go. And I want to put it kind of in here and give it a little bit of something, something too. A little bit of something else. There we go. That's, it needed a touch more as it's drying. I noticed it needed something. Not a whole lot, just enough. And that kind of lifted it up. As you can see what happens, let me bring that up. This wasn't quite dry enough, and so it kind of pulled up the paint that had been layered in there. So we're going to, I'm going to take it easy on that. I wish you can see this from a distance. There we go. Isn't that looking pretty? I know it's an, a, an odd, um, and I'll bring it down for you to see later. Um, I'm going to get my bright red. Let's see. Here it is. And you heard that little noise, and those are marbles. And um, 
anyhow it helps keep it stirred up but I did that before now that's a that's a brighter red and let's just kind of see if I can brighten up some of this I just feel like it's still not quite and so um, the other was a carmine red which has more pink undertones believe it or not very 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 pretty but let's see I'm just trying to bring some more fill that in a little bit that's better. It's not a lot, but it's better, and that's what I like about it. Who'd ever thunk I'd be doing a painting with Q-tips? Do y'all, any of y'all break out in song or anything when you're painting or in deep thought or whatever? It's always been one of my little, I don't know, maybe I use this as a coping. I don't know. I remember not, I don't remember not singing. I grew up singing. Love singing. Definitely make a joyful noise at times. I used to sing a lot. And I still sing. Part of the thing at church and things like that. Um, it's just another way of expressing, you know. Another expression. That's filling it in. I'm still not um, satisfied though with the uh, center, so we're, I'm going to keep working with that. And that might be where my gold comes into play. I just want to make these a little bit more filled in, if you know what I mean. Again, if you try this, and I recommend you trying this, it's a very simple technique. There's nothing, and I mean nothing hard about it. You see me doing it. and. Um, Throw. Any new beginner, any beginner can do this, but what's neat about this is it does, as you're layering upon and then just kind of daubing this, um, you bring texture, and texture's always a good thing. I mean, nature has texture. I mean, if you look at it, it has texture. So this definitely filled in what I wanted to, to, it to do. So, hmm. I think, let's try a few things. All right. This is the gold. A little bit of bling. And it's definitely blingy. I'm going to take a <clears throat> golf tee just because it has a good point and I can do what I need to do. And these little areas right in here. I'm just going to put a daub of the gold right there. And I couldn't have done that with a little swab, so... Oh yeah, that definitely just just helps it. So that might be what's going to go on in my something like little dots inside the middle of the red, kind of like a sunflower kind of. I'm going to try that in just a sec. Because it still has that orange um, background. You could use a skewer too. Um, I like using these thicker, smaller things to handle. It's easier on me. So you do what's easier for you. Oh, that just helped them like a lot. Might do a little dot here and a dot here. Is there such a thing as over embellishing? Probably. I don't think I'm there yet. So, it could happen. I've done it. And you go, oh no, why didn't I stop? I ruined it. But anyhow, um, yeah, I might even do a little daub in these little guys. Because, you know, they're just little bitty. They probably need a touch of like dark, like a little dot of black or something in them too. Um, doesn't put much on your little... I'm going to call it my little dauber. Wow, that's so pretty. Now, you could even use that, which I'm not going to, because I really, I'll probably need more of my gold. And, um, because my center I can use. My center of my red I can use. I'm not going to overdo it, I don't think. But I definitely, let's start down here. As you can see, I support, I'm supporting, you may not be able to see it, but I'm actually supporting my hand. 
Um, oh yeah, that's going to be it. I might have to get something bigger. Oh, that's it. That did it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yay! And then it has the orange underneath, which gives it just another depth of color. Alright, I'm going to bring that up so you can see it. That right there. See it? Isn't that pretty? And just little daubs. I put little daubs in here. And so I'm coming to the point where I'm just trying to finish up the flowers and get them to where I want them to be. And I thought maybe I might mix. I want to do a few stems and a few simple leaves. Um, still abstract. So I'm going to be working on I think I'm going to look for something maybe to make leaves with that I can dip. Hmm. How about something like that? Let me look. I'm just going to dip it in something. Let's dip it in the yellow. Oh, got to dip it good, huh? Mm, that's too much in the middle. No, nope, don't like that. But see, that's the kind of stuff I do. I just kind of mess around with stuff until I get it. So, y'all, I'm going to continue to put the gold in the middle of these, and I'll be back at the next step. Okay, toodaloo. Hey, y'all, I'm back, and I was messing around with the gold. Okay, see it? I did some in here. I did it basically a little dot here and there, and then I found that I had dripped somehow, and so I put little bitty sparkles, kind of like it's at the night sky. Now what I'm doing now is I'm just adding an illusion of stems and such. Okay, that's what I'm doing is an illusion. Um, you can see the green coming up, and what I did was I took some um, dark teal, I added it to my gold, and in that gold, in that little mixture, I added just a little bit of Van Dyke Brown from Amsterdam. And so that's all I'm doing is, whoop, did I get that one? Nope. Is I'm just kind of doing this, okay, and kind of bringing, bringing this down. And it's pretty sheer, and I want it to be sheer, okay. Um, and it's very removable. Let me put it that way. Um, this one's going to have quite a bit, but I'm going to try to bring it to where it looks more like a shadow in it. Because um, I didn't want like a giant. I just definitely wanted something such as that. And see, I'm going to use, this here's got a great line. And so I'm just going to bring that down like that. Um, I followed this one down and I brought up some bigger leaves. Again, it's just an illusion. So when you see this drying under the resin, you will definitely see it. And these, I'm just going to kind of, you know, just kind of put little tags of green just around it. Not a whole lot. This one up here the same. Because this one's more like on a stem and a stalk and it kind of just kind of hangs down. Um, so that's kind of what's going on with this one. I'm almost finished, I think. I, I really feel like I'm getting close and that I've got to be very careful not to overdo it. Now I'm following my lines of my previous swipe. And as you see, I've got some green in there and I had like a flash green. Now this one right here, I'm just going to bring it down like that. Okay. And you know, there's not really anything that I'm really going to hurt with if I kind of go over because, by golly, I can do just like that. But again, I'm looking for illusion. Come up to a point. I don't want to overpower and I don't want to overdo my, um, my stems. Okay? That's kind of what my background was for is to do that. And so I'm just bringing it down. As simple as that. Now it's going to take, I'm going to let this totally cure and um, do its thing. And I didn't really do a whole lot in here, and I don't really want to a whole lot because they're pretty full. But I could dab maybe a little illusion in there where it just might peek through. So it doesn't hurt to do a little. You just don't want to get it muddy. Um, you know, just kind of like that. I kind of boogled a little bit too much there, but there, that looks good. Um, don't be afraid to use your fingers. Don't be afraid to double, you know, work on other things. 
Um, this here was already kind of there, and I'm just going to highlight it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm just about finished. Okay, and these are just little simple little, you know, little grassy flowers. Just simple little little movements. Nothing hard. I really don't know how long this is going to be, this little video, but I'm going to piece it together and let you see it as a whole. Um, I want to thank everybody for visiting me today and, and doing today with me, although it's taken a few days to get this done. Um, I'm glad that you've been here. Be sure to um, like, hit the thumbs up, y'all. There's my thumb. Uh, thumbs up and... Um, you know, subscribe. I'm over a hundred now, y'all, and I'm trying. Share these with your friends and, and say, hey, I know somebody who's new. Maybe you might like them. Um, all right. I think I am just going to call it done. I'm just kind of playing now, and sometimes when I start playing, I get in trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I do need to give this a little bit of something. There, that's good enough. Okay, let me show you up close. Um, and sometimes when you stand up, I've been sitting, so when I stand up, I see something maybe I need to smooth out a little bit. And like that. And some of it, because it is shimmery, a lot of this has got shimmer. Alright, so um, let's see if I can get that down just a little. I, It's so pretty, and let me see if I can see, you can see the, the hints, and you can still see the swipe, see all the swipe underneath, and it just gives it a cool background of different colors and stuff, so let me bring you in for a close-up on the little beautiful red little ditties, and the yellow little ditties, um, and then just the miscellaneous lupine and flowers and things like this. This is going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous um, painting when it's um, finished and when it is resined and all that fun stuff. So guys, none of this was hard. It just took some time. But hey, I'm just going to do today. We'll see what today can do. All right. Have a blessed day. Fill your heart with happy and spark some happiness around you. All right, I'll talk to you later. Toodaloo. Bye-bye. Goodbye now. Finally, goodbye.